It's the Jumpman back again for two videos today. Two videos today and it's on a weekend. Hey, I didn't do a video all week, so I'm missing you guys. I'm missing making the videos and everything. And I was going to save this for tomorrow at noon, but we got a Vegas number two video tomorrow at noon. So I figured we'd go ahead and throw this up tonight because I just wanted to make a video, to be honest with you. And we're going to look at 10 stupid, silly rack toys mostly from the 70s maybe early 80s what are rack toys these are usually made by a cheaper toy company not oh my dropping my cards they were not a mainstream company you know not a hasbro or anything you'll find them at gas stations on a rack on a spinning rack that's why they call them rack toys they're usually some generic toy where the toy company got a license to put maybe you know king kong or some movie of the time on it planet of the apes and they have these generic toys and they probably slap a sticker on it that like says planet of the apes and put it in some generic package and you got a rack toy pretty cheap and they're usually like at gas stations or you know when you're on vacation you stop at that stuckies to get a pecan pie or pecan log i guess it pecan or pecan it's pecan c-a-n is can Huh, talk about the way I talk. I bet you say pecan like it has an O in it. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic here. You know what Rack Toys is. I've done a video on some of them before, and we're doing it again. And we've got 10 silly, crazy Rack Toys that I think you're going to really enjoy. So let's look at number 10 right here. <sighs> Secret Service Sunglasses. Check out these sunglasses. I, I, I got to show a bigger picture of this one. Look, the Secret Service sunglasses that's right james bond 007 i like these big old glasses got 007 right there you know he's walking around in a suit who i'm not james bond. james bond me 007 oh no no you've got me confused i'm jimmy lawn i'm a mild-mannered insurance salesman yeah so what is it? you want to take over the world can you speak into my sleeve and tell me all about it you're not fooling anyone, Secret Service guy, with your 007 sunglasses. Whoa, come on, that's just crazy. How about right here? This is a product of the time. Well, this is probably 70s. It looks like something would have been made in the 90s. Looks more like a 90s toy. We're talking superhero crack pipes. You heard me right. Superhero crack pipes. Okay, maybe these technically are not crack pipes, but I'm not really sure what it is. It says it's a blow pipe. Sounds like a crack pipe to me. And check out the little kids on this thing showing how to work it. Looks like they are puffing up some clouds with that crack pipe. Or maybe it's a meth pipe. I don't really know the difference. The only kind of pipes I know is crack pipe and a corn cob pipe. That's the only two types of pipes I know. But I don't know. This is some kind of pipe looking thing. You blow it and it says it has a mysterious action string wheel. I don't know what it is. To be honest. Maybe someone out there can help me because I really... I'm really confused by that one. I don't, I, I just, it was just so weird I had to put it on the list. So you let me know exactly how this thing works because I don't know. How about letting, I almost said Hulk Hogan, letting the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, ring your bell. That's right. You wanted everybody to ring your bell back in the 70s and no one was more special than ringing your bell than the Incredible Hulk. And you know, this is one of those things you see at the fair where you hit it with a hammer and the bell goes up. I can't never get the the little thing to go up more than this high. Make me look like a wuss in front of Amy, Kobe, and everybody. But, yep, this was a piggy bank. Coin bank, if you want to call it that. I'm from the South. We call it a piggy bank. Hopefully you do, too. But you put the coin in it and press a button and Hulk Hogan smash. And it rings the bell. Hope you can hit it hard enough. And I don't know. It's just kind of, it looks kind of fun, but still kind of silly. Enough silly enough to get on my top ten list right there. There we go. How about this one right here? This was more for the girls. I know I'm not supposed to say that this day and age. Jump man, they don't make toys for girls and boys anymore. They make toys for everybody. <sighs> oh, you think Tommy's a boy just because he has a... Well, that's not true anymore. Anyway, okay, let's get on with it. Okay, let's not get... Okay. This is Neck Nick Pets. It's a necklace has a little dog house, a bird house, hen house, chicken house, whatever you want to call it, and it has a little animal inside. They even have a Snoopy one that has Snoopy in the dog house. This is silly. I don't know if they come out of the dog house. I hope they look like little dolls, but I don't know. It seems pretty silly, but I'm sure if you were a girl in 1978, you would have loved this thing. You would have been like, hey, sure, my parents hadn't talked to me in over a week, but I've got my pet necklace to keep me company, and that's all you need. 
We didn't need counseling. We didn't need, you know, we didn't need therapy and everything because our parents didn't talk to us for a couple of weeks. We were happy. We didn't want to be talked to and we didn't want to be talked at and we didn't even want to communicate with our parents. Just feed us, buy us whatever we asked for, and leave us the hell alone. That's what we were in the kids in the 70s. That's Gen X right there for you. Still like that as adults sometimes. How about this? What if you wanted to eavesdrop on your sister telling her best friend about what happened in that Burger King bathroom where you could use the Superman? Did I say Superman? No, you couldn't. Superman couldn't do this. Spider-Man. Super Snooper. Super Snooper. Right there in the title. You're going to be snooping on people. This toy's going to get you in trouble. This is going to get you in trouble. It's a big old microphone looking thing. You press the button and you can hear people talking far away. So you know you're going to hear, you, you think you're going to hear your mom and dad discussing your Christmas present. You know, you get it by the door and you hear something. You wait, what? What? Tea party? What is that? Hey man, Coach Green and my mom did what with a key? You just get all, you're like, okay, just ruined your whole childhood. Trust me. You don't want to get this one right here. But the Superman Super Snoopers number, I don't know what number is. What's that? Number five. Number five getting you in trouble right there. How about number four? Number four, Roto Blaster. Hope I said that right. Roto Blaster. If I didn't say it right, my buddy Russell will text me and say, oh, you said it wrong just to upset me. Or someone in the comment section is going to say, that's not how you pronounce it. The R is silent. It's Roto. Say things like I want to say them. You got a problem with it? Anyway, we got the Roto Blaster. This is a piece of plastic. You put a uh, little like ping pongs into it, crank it, and the ping pongs go shooting out. I ain't gonna lie to you. This looks freaking awesome. I want one right now. If I had one, I would shoot ping pongs upside Larry the Wampus head all day, every day. And it would be in videos. Shooting out my ping pongs. Now it looks like I only those four. And that is what I would consider. A bummer, a bummer. It needs more than that. Don't you hate something? Just gotta reload that fast. Where are we at now? Number three. Number three. The superhero color fans. Color. Cooler fans. Cooler if I can't read. Cooler fans. This is a little plastic thing. You put it up, put it by your face, and it looks like Hulk, Captain America, Spider Man, or Marvel. You hit the button, and their arms spin around so fast it cools you off. You put a fan right in your face. I don't know about you. You don't want to pet a fan in it in your face when you're a kid. This is guaranteed to chop someone's nose off. Or, or you, say, you don't put a fan. I mean, as a kid, you always don't put your fan in the don't put your finger in the fan. Don't put your finger in the fan. They put gates all over fans and everything. But here, they want you to put a fan right in your face. And you know, me, at least know me. I'm gonna touch it to see if I can stop the blade. I'm gonna put my tongue on it to see if I can stop the blade. Or I'm going to be looking at it, and I'm going to be sitting in the middle seat, on the hump, in the car, on vacation. My dad's going to hit a bump, and that fan's going to go right into my face. And really, I just want to talk about this. I could talk about the drawing, the sketch they used on how to use it. That reminds me of being at my uncle's basement, a game that he used to like to play. But I'm not going to get into all that right now. No, did that go into the seat? Oh, man, I'm going to be sitting on cards all day. How about this one right here? Another one for the girls. But, jump, man, there ain't no such thing as toys for just for girls. Girls and boys can play with anything. Boys can play with pink spoons. Boy, girls can play with Tonka trucks. Okay, I know. We're talking the 70s here, and this was made for a girl. The doll in crayon container. And I just like the name of it. Because it's not called Betty. It's not called Sally doll. It's just... Doll in crayon container. They didn't even name the doll. It's just the name of it is what it is. It's a doll in a crayon container. What an odd thing to put a doll in. Why is it in a crayon container? I, I just have so many questions about this. Does the parents not want the doll? Do the mommy dolls just say, I don't want to have another kid. I got too many. Put it in a crayon tube and psst, sit it out in the garbage. I don't know what's going on. Crazy. Man, I cannot throw these cars today. Ooh, there we go. Give Larry something to pick up. Okay, how about this one? It wasn't on my Land of the Laws video, and it should have been a Land of the Laws Wilderness Campfire. That's right. You get all the things you need to go camping with this one right here. You got the little girl. The, I forget her name. Sally Seesaw. You got her holding her little dinosaur. I remember her having a pet dinosaur. You got the brother. Doesn't look like any of them. I know somebody's going to say, well, I'll tell you what their names are. Her name's 
Will, Will and Holly and, I don't know, you'll let me know in the comments, I'm sure I'll remember. William, Will, Holly, I forget the dad's name. Anyway, you got this camp set here, camp set here, and it says it comes with a tent. You ain't getting in that tent. I don't know who that tent's for. This ain't like something that comes with action figures or anything. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Pinch your tent. <laughs> it says pinch your tent. <laughs> when I was little and I watched that show and I saw Holly, I did. I pinched a tent, that's for sure. Pinch the tent and camp out beside the fire. If you mean plastic fire. Uh, complete with roasting pit, oil lantern, and survival kit. Even has a fork, spoon, and knife set. Right there. Spoon fork and knife set. I didn't even see a compass. Rack toys loved to have compasses back then. Okay, number one silly crazy rat toy. Check this out right here from the television show V. I love V. You love V. We all love V. The Resistance 45er sound pistol and holster. Now let's say this is from V, but this is classic rat toy gimmick right here because it's just a 45 gun that they didn't even put V on the gun. The holster has V. What's it say? V, the resistance. What is V, the resistance? I've heard of V, the miniseries. V, the television series. I've never heard it called V, the resistance. Have you heard it called that? I've never heard it called that at all. But no batteries required. It actually feels like you're, it's got a little kick to it when you shoot it. But check out the picture of Mark Singer and his girlfriend down here. They're not even holding a 45. Let me put it up so you can see it. They're not even holding a 45. See, I know it's a small picture, but they got laser V guns. That's what you want. I don't really understand this one. Also, it looks like it comes with some kind of ID card. I'm not sure. These things are really popular to come with ID cards. And look at this thing. It was sold at Toys Us. A rat toy at Toys Us. Yeah, I have officially seen it all now. Well, that's it. The V40. I've heard of a 45. I never heard of a 45. -er. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a gun guy. Maybe that's something there. But that's a look at 10 silly, crazy rat toys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget we'll be back this start this week. We're back with videos two times a day. Not classic videos, unless I get lazy. But we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thumb up to any of my content. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk again. Soon. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>